Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to solve another question uh, about the resultant of 2D forces. And this question, we have three forces that are acting on the bracket. And we need to determine the magnitude of, of the magnitude and direction of uh, vector F, force F, so that the resultant of the force is directed along the positive X prime axis and has the magnitude of uh, 8 kilonewton. So as always, uh, we can start with the free by diagram. So what the question is asking is, we have three different forces uh, that are acting. So if this is our x and y axis, we have this 6 kilonewton force, we have f, which is making angle theta with y-axis and we have uh, this four kilonewton force which has the angle of 15 degrees and we need to find the resultant of all these three to be in this direction so if it's our x and y-axis there are uh let's call it fr which we know the magnitude is 8 kilonewton uh, has to be along the x prime axis that we have and this will be the x component of r uh, we also know this angle is 30 degrees and Let's call the y component f r y. <clears throat> so all we need to do is to find the sum of all forces in x and y direction. And what we have for x has to be equal to f r x, uh, which we know will be 8 times cosine of 30 and <clears throat> we have to find the sum of all forces in x direction so first of all uh, if we look at the uh, left diagram we have that in x direction we have the 6 kilonewton force uh, we also have the x component of the 4 kilonewton force which is negative and we also have the x component of the force with theta so we have f sine of theta and as the x component for the four kilonewton as we can see the force is negative the x component so we have minus four times sine of 15. And if we want to find the F sine of theta, we we'll simply have 8 cosine of 30 minus 6 plus 4 sine of 50. And if we calculate this, we'll get 1.9635. So that was our... Um, X component we have the same thing for y fy equals fry which we know this time fry will be a sine of 30 and if we look at the left diagram we'll see what we have for uh, y component so the six kilonewton force is on x-axis so there wouldn't be any y for that for the f this time we'll have f cosine of theta And for the 4 kilonewton force, this time we'll have a positive since it's at the uh, positive direction of the y-axis. And we'll have 4 cosine of 15 degrees. And if you do the same thing, we can find f cosine of theta, 8 sine of 30 minus 4 cosine of 15 degrees. 
So if we calculate this, we'll get point thirteen sixty three. So now we have two equations. Uh, let's call this one and this one two. And if we divide one by two, we'll have f sine of theta over f cosine of theta which will be tangent of theta equal to 1.9635 over 0.1363 and if you calculate that we'll get uh, 14.406 and from this we can find the, th uh, the theta which will be the tangent reverse of uh, 14.406 and if we measure that we'll get 86.03 degrees for the theta which is the one of the unknowns that the question is asking for and now that we have the theta we just simply need to uh, substitute the theta in uh, either one or second equation and we can find the f which is what the question is asking so let's do the the sign so we'll have f sine of theta so if we do from the first equation we'll have a sign of 86.3 degrees equal to 1.9635 and from here we can find f which will be 1.97 kilonewton and this would be the final answer for this question.